Welcome back, friends. All right, it's been a month. It is time now, Maddie, to reveal my Habitat for Humanity Restore Project of the Month. Now, you remember last month, take a look at this, when I went shopping, okay? Here I am at the very end. I found these two chairs that I loved. Remember how they used to look, okay? And then I put on social media, I said, what should I turn these chairs into? Either an entryway bench or two porch planters. I was debating between the two, but the viewers voted, and I had to go with the overwhelming consensus. I looked at all the comments, and they... They actually made a choice, guys. They really did. It was the entryway bench. So that's what I've made. Are you ready to see it? You ready, Maddie? I'm so ready. Okay, drum roll, please. <laughs> the bench. <laughs> okay, and I really, that was what was blowing my mind the most of how you were gonna make two chairs into a bench. Well, this is how, Mad. Okay, so first of all, you might be saying, hey, Jeremy, how did you find a cushion the exact right size to match your bench. Well, guess what? I found the cushion first and built the bench around the cushion. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> so I loved this cushion and I wanted it to be where you could sit with a cushion or without, depending on where you put this. Uh -huh. But the cushion is coming with it if you wanna buy this at the ReStore. So what I did was, if you look at the front, the chairs are actually turned towards each other, okay? So the chair was here, you'd be sitting here facing that way or sitting there facing this way. Mm -hmm. And if you look, I cut off the front legs. We're just gonna hold it right here just for a second. I cut off the front legs, which would be here. Now, here's the fun thing. I saved those legs because you never know when I'm going to use those in a project. Oh, my gosh. I So I took going. off the front legs. I saved them because I don't throw anything away. And then the, the fav my favorite of all coincidences happened. So Maddie was asking this morning. We were getting out of my car. Uh -huh. And you're like, oh, my gosh, how much did you have to spend? Yeah, to make this. Very little, Maddie, because I'm using things from my house. So I put shutters on my house about three months ago. I built my own shutters and I stained them. So I went down to get the spare wood to make the bench. And when I got down to get, this is the wood for my shutters. Okay, look, take a look at this. Here's the wood. I brought the wood up and the stain color matched the chairs exactly. Mm. So I said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use that wood, keep this color. I was gonna originally paint a white, like a white bench. Yeah. But because it matched, it was one of those happy coincidences. I actually just kept the stain color that I already had I already had the screws. The only two things I had to buy for this project were the cushion that it was based off of and this beautiful decorative metal piece right here. When I say design is about layers, it's about layers. I didn't have to add this, but this gives it the more custom professional touch by adding just this extra accoutrement on top. It's a beautiful metal decorative piece right in the center. Now what I'm picturing is you put this in your entryway, you put those little cubbies underneath for the kids' shoes yes. or book bags, hang something with the backpacks, and then the kids can sit there, put on their shoes, go outside, great for winter galoshes, et cetera. I love et that. And now, I just, I just could not believe the stain color matched. Yes. Exactly. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I was just thinking, reuse, recycle, restore. Restore. Boom. And it's restored. So here's the project. I'm gonna be taking this over to Habitat tomorrow. Okay, it's so not today. Tomorrow on Thursday, when Maddie and I head over there. So be looking for this, and this could be yours as of Thursday when I take it to the ReStore. Now, we got to think about next month, right, Maddie? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Gosh. why don't we head back to the ReStore and find out what I've chosen for next month? All right. Take I'm a look. Excited. All right, it's time to shop for another project here at the Habitat for Humanity ReStore right here in Springfield. Now, I'm loving the lighting. You wouldn't believe the amazing lights, chandeliers you can find for less than half the price of what you'd find at a regular store. And I'm, I'm having ideas because light fixtures don't always have to be light fixtures. Light fixtures can actually be a lot of things. In fact, my mind is racing thinking some of these could be great projects for the fall. So I think I'm gonna save that, but I just love looking, getting inspiration. In fact, I've taken an old ceiling fan before and I've turned it into an outdoor dragonfly art decor item for your backyard and it's so cool. And in fact, I may repurpose that idea coming up in the spring, but I love all these options. But you know, sometimes you just wanna find something that you want to like repurpose or restore to, to its original glory. So I'm just like, wait a minute. What do I see down there? I think I might have found something that I really love. Okay, hold on. Look at this table. This is gorgeous. This is real wood. Look at this. Oh, wow. Very substantial. Look at this detailing right here. Look at all the beautiful uh, architecture right here. These scallops. These are probably hand carved. This looks like it's a piece from probably about the 1960s. And here's the thing. When you find a piece like this that's real, that's real wood, that has craftsmanship, 
you don't want to repurpose it into anything. You want to give it new life. So I'm going to refurbish this, maybe give it some sanding, a new stain color, seal it. This would be a beautiful coffee table for somebody's house. But guess what, guys? Can't do this right now. You got to stay tuned to see the finished product coming up next month. So guys, that's gonna be a restored project that is gonna be refurbished to its original glory and I have some colors in mind. So I might be posting on social media what color stain or paint you would like to see that restored coffee table. So Okay, we'll yeah. okay. Did you have a question, I'm sorry? My, my, I'm <laughs> still stuck on the bench. What did you do with the cushions and the cutouts and all those pieces? I still have them at my house. Okay. I'm keeping them because I don't throw anything away, Maddie. My mind hurts. Like the fact that you can see all this stuff and, okay, okay. let's keep going. By the way too, the ReStore is holding its second annual upcycle competition. Registration is now going on through August 31st. So please visit the Habitat Springfield ReStore Facebook page to find the registration link and enter because only 20 people will be entered. You're gonna use five, to $20 the week of September 11th through 15th. And guess what, guys? I might be a judge of this competition that will end in October. Yes. So head to the Restore Facebook page, enter for the upcycle competition. If you're good at repurposing, reusing, recycling, this competition is for you. And make sure you check out Maddie and I tomorrow, August 31st at the Dunk Day. We'll be there from 12, uh, 11.30 to 12.30, $5 for $3.00. Do balls. balls. Thank you, Maddie. $5, three balls to come, throw it at the dunk tank, get us in the water. And, you, and it's raising money for Habitat, which is yes. great. So Thanks. tomorrow we're heading over, dunk us, the bench will be there, we'll be there. We'll be there. And enter the upcycle competition right now at yes. the Habitat Springfield Restore Facebook page. That's what it's called. All right, TMZ, Michael Babcock up next. Don't go anywhere. That was a mouthful today, sorry. <laughs>